Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll brief on creating runners for multiple part cavities. This applies to shell models. Here's the end effect we're going for. You can see the pattern of knob components with ribs underneath. The primary inlet channel with the gate is commonly called a sprue, and the distribution channels can be called runners. First, you'll need to pattern the components. So we'll do this here with this knob component. I have a sketch on a plane with these points, so I'll use the sketch pattern command to copy the knobs to the points. So we mesh the model as you can see here, and now if you look in the SolidWorks plastics tree, you should see a runner design item here. You use the runner design function with sketch segments to define the paths. Here's some line segments drawn to use with the runner design functionality, and some notes about the function. It automatically creates channels using shell elements placed along sketch segments. You can specify the channel shape and size and the mesh density along the channel length. Here are some basic rules for the sketch segments. You can use any plane for a 2D sketch, and of course you can create 3D sketches, and you can combine sketches. Here I have two sketches, one for the runners and one for the sprue. I'll highlight each one. You must terminate and start a new line at each channel junction. For example, on this T-junction, you cannot sketch a line straight through. There needs to be a termination at the junction, like these two sketch lines here. You need to add a coincident or Pierce relation to sketch lines that end at components. Here, the segment endpoint is given a coincident relation to the nearest body edge entity. I'll right-click on Runner Design and choose Open. Here in the drop-down are some different channel geometries you can pick. The protocol is to select a channel shape, set the mesh size and dimensions for it, then select the sketch segment and press the Apply button. I'll create the sprue first with a diameter of 6 mm at the top and 8 mm at the bottom. So we have some draft to pull off the mold. So you can see the draft is reversed, so I'll reverse the dimensions. Note that you can only select one segment at a time. Now I'll do the runners at 6 mm diameter. And I'll taper them down to 1 mm at the interface to the components. Now I'll click OK and look at the system. So now I'll put in the main injection gate. And select a polymer. Here's the result showing the time to fill. In this video, we've shown a brief overview of creating runners in a multi-cavity shell element model. 